what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the Arrow 2 leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary. But the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing round the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Chiro Immobile. He's your classic striker, Peter. Absolutely lethal when he's got a sight of goal. He can play both on the shoulder of the defender or as a kind of target man. But given his superlative finishing ability, his teammates should be looking to get the ball to him in the box whenever possible. Hard to disagree with that. It is the sort of situation he thrives in. So we're up and running. Felipe Anderson. He's made good progress from a deep position. Massive leap! Oh, just needed a better contact. Atalanta can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Luis Alberto tries to get it forward quickly. Drives it towards the front. The Roan. Hatterboer. Lookman. Hatterboer. Luis Alberto did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Atalanta making a good start. Nice level of intensity in their play. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. Lookman! Can he deliver? Gets it into the middle. Well read, he sorted that out. Luis Alberto, Cataldi, if you have just joined us, well, you've missed no goals, loses his balance and loses the ball, Luis Muriel, and it's Muriel, played out to the right, Lookman plotting from out on the right-hand side, Atalanta are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Um, it's not movement for the sake of it. Um, yes, it is working for me. There's a purpose to, to create space. Played into the middle. Cross deflected over the goal line for a corner.
Pasalic. The room. And here's Mur it's Muriel! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. He's tried one! Savage can hoist it clear. And it's Daroon. Now it's Pasalic. Daroon tries to switch the play. Tries to get it clear. Lookman pumps it in. Up to meet it! Just couldn't turn it in. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. A really good feat from him. Be a throw in. Still waiting for the first goal. Hatterbor. Lookman. And here's Muriel. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Pasalic. Plays it out to the wing. Surely. And the finish. They've scored. And always such a great time to score. A brilliant boost before you head in for half time. And you can guarantee that dressing room will be buzzing now. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. And it's played forward. Luis Alberto out to the right. And here's Felipe Anderson. And that'll be the final action of the first half. Well, there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. That gets things going for the second half. Lazio need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Hoists it high. Whipped it again. He's gone for it! That has certainly tested the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Ball is over the line. Lookman decides to play it back. Shoots! 
A real chance and a real let-off. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. Savic. And it's Felipe Anderson. Felipe Anderson not easily shrugged off the ball. There are a few waiting for it. And that has been cleared. Cataldi. Has a hit! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. Only partially clear. Hoists it forward. Plays it over to the other flank. He's still going. Where to next? Luis Alberto gets good distance on it. There's the delivery. And back out it comes. Gets up to head it! Good clearance and very necessary. Ah, oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. Luis Alberto, Luis Alberto goes looking. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Darone, across the field it goes. A really good feat. Lukman. Now it's Muri. Oh, shooting chance! Atalanta are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Oh, looks like he's been taken out there. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Marosic. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Well, they've got to deny him time and space, and, and that's one way of ensuring it. Defending of the desperate variety. Forward it goes. Oh, good interception. Zafa Costa. Pasalic, Duron, whose goal-scoring skills have already been evident. Lukman, Lukman on a strong run down the right. And that is it, the referee has seen enough. One goal settled it, a tense and exciting game that just got away. Your final thoughts, Jim? It's just a bad day at the office, Peter. They look below par in all areas, and it has to be cause for genuine worry. Just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin for joining us and to wish you a very good day.